Representative Mike Galton is here, the Republican, as we mentioned, from Nashville, uh, as we ponder what's next with legalized marijuana, recreational marijuana, medical marijuana, dispensaries, and so forth. And it wasn't that long ago we could sit here at the Capitol and there were pot shops all up and down Michigan Avenue. They're gone now, for the most part, from what I can see, at least the more flamboyant ones. But would you bring us all up to date on, on where we stand and where we're going next? Right now, my bill, 4210, which originally was to establish provisioning centers in the law, because right now what you see as a dispensary is not in the Medical Marijuana Act. The Medical Marijuana Act provides, if you have a doctor's recommendation, for you to grow 12 plants of your own or contract with a caregiver who can take care of five people. So when you see a dispensary that is taking care of anyone with a recommendation that comes in, that's really not in the law. And if they are still open, it's basically at the pleasure of the local police, the local authorities. But at any time, uh, Bill Schutte or the state police could come in and close them. So the stores that I saw that said doctor available 24-7, that was dubious then, right? So someone could go in at 2 in the morning and say, you know, I've got glaucoma, I need some pot. They obviously had some kind of arrangement with a medical doctor that would do the examination and certification. Quickly, apparently. And then they had the, pro the product right on hand. So that's all you need now is a doctor's note to get a little tree? I think Kush? so. What are the is kids the called these days? Kush? Yeah, there is. Uh, that, that is a type of, of marijuana. Is, is I think King Kush it's called. Really? Is that, is that, and I'm sure that's not the kind of stuff that they, uh, that they have at the medical marijuana pickups, or do they? I, I heard, see, I don't, I'm not a, I know nothing about pot. I really don't. I, don't I know either. you're looking at me like I do, but I don't. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not looking at you. But I'm, I'm my older to... brothers did, though. Um, well, there's different but... kinds of, of marijuana, depending on your condition. There's indicas and sativas, uh, some excitatory, some more relaxing, and depending on what your condition is, different ones are recommended. for. Well, that's cool. So it won't... The, I imagine that means they, they've made it way better since the days when I actually tried it, the, like, paranoid stuff, like, I uh, smoke it and be like, I can't feel my legs. Yeah, where does it come from, and how do you, how do you manage the quality? Basically, uh, my bill does include testing in it so that there is some sort of safety quality. Also, there can be further testing to indicate what levels of, of uh, what's in it in terms of the cannabinoids, uh, the amount of THC, and different cannabinoids, there's several different ones, have different properties. For instance, if you're a cancer patient and you're having trouble maintaining weight and you want to improve appetite, well, certain types of marijuana have certain cannabinoids that will stimulate appetite. Who, who is going to be Cannabin doing the testing? No. We are, actually, today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, 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 it will be testing labs that are specifically certified for testing in the bill. Right now you're seeing some testing happening. There's some real good testing labs out there, but some are doing in-house testing. My bill would separate that because I believe it needs to be separate because if you're testing your own marijuana, uh, it's hard to be objective. It's probably, it's probably going to pass. It's like tasting your own cooking. <laughs> what would the ripple effect be? <laughs> what would the ripple effect be if either of those ballot proposals pass next November to... I guess it's legalized or decriminalized if there's a distinction, uh, recreational marijuana across the state. Well, the, the distinction between decriminalization and legalization, in decrim, if you have personal amounts, you may get a fine, but you're not going to have criminal prosecution unless you have the amounts where you're, you're actually dealing it. Mm -hmm. um, in legalization, um, it's just legal, and you don't even have that. Now, both of the ballots proposals that are being worked on are a little different. But they both would legalize recreational marijuana. And I think we need to get the bill I'm working on in place so that there's an overall regulation of marijuana before it legalizes. Why, why isn't it legal? Marijuana. Why, why is that illegal? History, I guess. Well, it's illegal federally, and that just kind of trickles down no, to yeah, state I, law. I just look at alcohol. And I see people fighting and throwing up in the streets and robbing banks. And then I see people that smoke marijuana and they seem very peaceful, like Bob Marley. <laughs> I like, like the like Bob Marley music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>